Hey everybody, my name is Larko Doom, and today we have officially uh, finished Arrival, but we get a bonus map to play, and this is called Father Figure on the Unity port. Um, I think it's called <laughs> Dad Bod in the uh, in other like source ports, but um, yeah, I actually had the honour to speak with Walker Wraith, otherwise known as Pavera, in the comments, and he. Um, he said this is like a reskin of a much easier map he created uh, called Dad Wad, and this was a few years after his firstborn child. And yeah, so Dad Wad and Dad Bod, it's pretty funny. Um, and it has a go to it esque theme going along with it. You can already see all these flanks of chain gunners to the left and right of us. There are a lot of revenants and arch files. Thankfully, these chain gunners have their back to us, because how horrible of a start would it be if they were facing us? Um, but it's still a very nasty start. We only get the we get the chain gun and the rocket launcher, um, and yeah, it's a bit luck based sometimes. I'll try and do an efficient walk as as efficient as I can as a of a walkthrough, but um, it can be quite luck based. So let's just hop into it, shall we? We get the chain gun, as I said, all these rockets and the rocket launcher. Now, what I like or what I try to do anyway is have this wall to the right of me and the chain gunners to the right won't wake up while I kill these guys now of course you want to kill as much as possible uh, a few might come up the steps as well so wait it wait for a few seconds but if not then quickly just kill this side now as well as these revenants Yeah, there's a chain gunner down here. There's a few more gunners, and look at the the size of a uh, huge, huge group of revenants down there. And we'll deal with them very shortly. But there's also a huge group of lost souls as well. So first, first of all, we'll skip this radiation suit, collect the backpack and the plasma gun. We'll head back down, and we'll collect this Megasphere in the lava. And our first call of action is to ignore everything, and just hop down, run to this door, press the switch, and get on the lift, and you want to have the plasma gun ready. Because it is chain gunners, and revenants. Plasma gun is the only weapon you don't want to get up on that lift with a rocket launcher in your hand. Um, or even a chain gun, really. Kill a few more lost souls. Yeah, these lost souls, they'll come they'll come to you, so. Yeah, look, they're all nicely grouping up. as many as possible this guy just doesn't yeah and yeah there's the, the huge group of uh, revenants to our left we have the BFG to deal with them um, and it will lower a a trap with chain gunners and also a uh, we got a cool little uh, custom picture here now I don't I, I don't know who this is I'm guessing if I had a have an obvious guess that it is Walker Wright himself. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a, a mate. Maybe it's a family member or uh, maybe even it's the son that grown up, maybe I don't know. I don't know how old his son his son is, but I don't know, yeah. So it's a pretty cool Easter egg nonetheless. And right here this is our secret, which is fairly obvious, but we'll press the eye switch. We get a very easy arch file to take care of who's guarding the supercharge. So right now, we can kill these revenants now that we got the the BFG. And what I like to do is shoot the wall and let the tracers come down to them. Um. Um. 
it's quite an efficient way of taking care of them as they group up together. Um, ignore those monkey by if you if you can. Whoa. Missiles everywhere. Uh, it's quite tricky this map, just because of the lava. Lava is probably the trickiest part in this map to be to be quite honest. Um. But yeah, right now, what we want to do, actually, is hop back down and grab that radiation suit that we skipped. And now we can take care of the the enemies around us. Such as these manky by. And these, um, the revenants as well. There's also, we can kill that art file up there. He's very important to kill. If he wants to reveal himself, which he doesn't want to. And by the way, we do get a mega sphere as well. There we go. Kill that. Make sure he dies. Now these monkey bite. Ideally, you want to try and kill the two up there. They're like the most annoying, to be honest. All right. Nice. We got both of them. Okay. Um, and you can ignore the others to be honest well not ignore them but like we don't have to focus on them um, exclusively like I did with those two and the reason I targeted those two man by on the ledge upper ledge on the left is because if you don't kill them with that radiation suit the only way to kill them pretty much is to stand in the lava so you can even aim at them uh, and yeah that's not good as you'd know so we also wanted to kill our arch file is because he's also in a pesky position and a cyber demon will come here and he can target you for that window so that's what we wanted to do with the radiation suit we wanted to uh, uh, keep it to kill those monkey by and the arch file the other monkey by we will deal with eventually um, but for now we can hop down here Grab the health bonuses. Come down here. We've got a mega sphere. And grab the blue key. Now, the trap didn't launch. Which is funny. I think you have to. <laughs> I just. Right, I strafed on the blue key. Um, I strafed to get the blue key. I failed. And I, I still grabbed it. But if you land on the pillar, three arch vials will spawn in right here. And uh, the only way to kill them basically is to just keep your fingers crossed and hope you don't get zapped by all of them. You just have to like... You might take a zap or two, but... Yeah. Let's just... Um, we'll, we can do that later. For now we can... Initiate this. This fight with the cyber demon. And there's a lot of arch vials and revenants as well. So hopefully he can infight with them. There's one pesky revenant down there which is quite annoying. There we go. I've just got to be careful of those monkey by as I said as well. Actually while they're all fighting maybe we could go down and kill this. Kill these monkey by. It's just that one revenant. There's always, there's just one enemy everywhere, which is just annoying. Can't deal with a group of enemies without someone trying to shoot me in the back. All right, at least those two monkey by are dead, and there should be only these these guys left. Last one. Yep, yeah, I know the revenant's shooting at me. Ooh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ooh! The revenant got up. That sneaky fiend. While I was trying to deal with those monkey by. He was gonna resurrect all the chain gunners and revenant. 
revenants, that one will be done. And more frights coming up. So. Yeah, let's deal. Let's try and deal with these now because the, the, it's getting quite rowdy down there. Cyber Demon's not doing a good job at all, is he really? Oh, he's a bit stupid. Can't deal with the enemies. Look, can you just kill him? Can you kill the Archval for me? Oh, you're that useless. Because I, I don't want to go down there with an Archval and a Cyber Demon. Just shoot him, Cyber Demon. Come on. Or kill him with the splash damage. I don't know. Here we go. All right. Let's hop down, grab the... Ah! Grab the Megasphere! Alright, now we can kill this <laughs> Cyber Demon. We want him to shoot. Come on, I want to do the... There we go. There we go! Alright, that was a little bit scary with the... Uh, <laughs> when I failed to grab the Megasphere. But, um... That uh, revenant still down there, yeah. All right, forget that. If we open the door, we got more arc files. Get back here. There we go. And we can press this switch, which will raise the pillar. Come on, we're gonna kill this revenant. Guard the exit switch, that's where the exit switch is. There we go. Now we just have to kill that manky by as well. Um Ah, oh, it'd be great if we had rockets. Well let's kill him. Yeah! Alright, now we have to land on this pillar. Have I, have I got everything? Yeah. Um, basically, we have to land on this pillar to resurrect, uh, not resurrect, but spawn in those three arch files. Now, um, <sighs> this is tricky because um, what we can't do. Let me just see where these teleporters go. I don't, I don't know. Where does this go? This takes me here. That's not good. Where does the other one go? Here. Yeah, that's good. Alright, um, so because I missed this pillar, which was. which I didn't mean to, um, I can land on it now and let the Archvals spawn in. And we'll, we would have had to deal with the Archvals at an earlier time, which would have been more tricky. Let's take this teleporter, run up the stairs. I can hear them resurrecting. Chain gunners. So, chain. Hide behind this pillar. There we go. I think there's a uh, there's a chain gunner in the lava. And yep, that's the final enemies, the three arch files. Now you would have had to um when you grab the when you grab the blue key, right? Um there's, you can't take that right teleporter, so I kind of cheesed it a little bit, but um, you have to only take that left teleporter, which takes you up there, or just run along in the lava, and you have to come to these steps or go up the lift. So you're trapped here in this area, basically, and you have to get to these stairs where three arch vials are guarding it. So your best bet is to uh, grab the Megasphere, which you get beforehand, which is nice, um, and just blitz these arch vials with... Just keep your fingers crossed, basically, with some RNG that you don't get zapped by all three of them. And maybe use this right here as cutter. And then, like, kill them one by one as they come down the stairs. It's fairly tricky. I didn't mean to cheese it, but I missed the pillar completely, which is quite funny. But I still managed to grab the blue key, so I got to deal with the arch vials, um right at the end. And I could, I could use this right teleporter to get here where the cyber demon is and just run down and just kill them nice and easy without taking damage from that lava so pretty cool didn't mean to do that but if you want to try and do that just grab the blue key 
without landing on the pillar. We have to do uh, this awkward strafe. If not, you just um, get on the right teleporter. There we go. And yeah, that's the exit switch. And there it is. There it says Dad Bod on the end and screen, even though it says Father Figure on the title screen uh, on the title, which is pretty funny. But yeah, that that was the bonus map, and basically it was just a uh, just an extra fun map to play, basically. And it is fun to complete. It's short, uh, so it's not too painful to play through. If it was long, like half an hour, like the other arrival maps, then uh, it wouldn't be. Uh, that fun to play but because it's so short and all the enemies are like grouped up together it's quite fun and you can see I had a f um, it was quite <laughs> difficult at times with the cyber demon he didn't especially if the enemies don't do what you want them to do killing those monkey by on the ledge that can be very tricky I have to you just have to save the radiation suit for that if you want 100% of the kills um, because yeah they're so high up and you can only shoot them in the lava and even then you don't know if you're even killing them because you, you can't see them on screen um but yeah the the revenants as well uh, there's an arch vial which i killed in the lava with the suit because otherwise he'd be trying to zap you through the window while you're busy dealing with the cyber demon um but yeah, it's quite. It was hectic, but it was fun. It was very fun to complete. So, as I said, I couldn't. I tried my best to do as as a, um, an efficient walkthrough, but it's so hectic that you basically just have to roll with the dice, uh, pretty much. But that was arrival. I've completely uh, finished arrival, 100%. Pretty much everything um, on the ultra violence difficulty from a pistol start in every map, and. Um, I have to say it was a great experience from when I started map 1, it's been real fun um, playing through this and I want to thank Walker Wright as well as uh, AD79 for for his soundtrack, composing the soundtrack. I want to thank those two for creating a brilliant Mega Warden and deciding to put it on the Unity port for people to access um, via console which is what I'm playing on. Um, I don't have a PC, unfortunately, uh, but I love Doom very much, and the Unity port on console gives me the chance to play um, brilliant megawatts. So I loved it. Um, give it in. If we're going by uh, Mount Payne 27 standards, I'll give it a an A for quality, and probably a I'm going to say a C plus for difficulty, because it's a uh, it can be quite difficult, but uh, that's just my personal difficulty. A lot of pe people might find it a bit harder. Some people might find it uh, easier. But yeah, I'm giving it a C plus. Not quite on a B because I didn't have too much trouble playing through. It was just uh, taking up, taking in the the visual aesthetic quality of every map made because um, they look beautiful. The maps and yeah I think the fights were fairly balanced so overall I loved playing this and if you uh, if you have been watching my channel I will be going back to Doom Zero because I stopped halfway through Doom Zero to play this because it was brand new and I'll be um, going back to finish that awesome megawatt as well so yeah um, if you enjoyed please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Unity Port walkthroughs because I plan to do all of them so Thank you very much for watching everybody and I hope you guys take care. Goodbye.